I am hung over a good god, but I am a big boy, and so, um, Zacti Prime. A thousand pains before their end. Quite a cool description, actually. This is your Prime signature secondary, and it's a dart gun that fires, well, darts, surprisingly enough, that do puncture and impact damage, but also explode after one second in a 3.8 meter radius doing pure gas damage. The interesting thing here, though, is that the explosion has no fall off whatsoever. It does full damage across the entire boom. On top of that, it sports an 8% crit chance with a 1.8 times crit multiplier, so yeah, not that great. However, the status chance is fabulous at 42%. So let's give it a shot, shall we? I don't want to have another Komorek situation here, so let's try it first and see whether the punch through breaks it or not. Alright, so it doesn't punch through them. I'm guessing it's because of the embedding delay, so it embeds into them and then explodes. That's good. Let's get Galvanized Diffusion. We're not gonna run Lethal Torrent because of Cannonade. And Gal Galvanized Shot? A lot of the damage is gonna come from the explosion, but we can get some direct damage. Hmm. Let's go with Normal Sure Shot. I wanna try Corrosive and Blast. Because that could be fun with gas on top. I like a soul. Hmm. What now? Uh huh. Sounds good. There we go. I think Empower is going to be really good here because we have crazy high status and we get base damage from Cannon Out, so we don't need a base damage arcane. I would really like to have Lethal Momentum here. Let's change this dash into a D. Fantastic. I think Steel Path is going to be just fine. Okay, show me something. Uh, oh. Hmm. This I like. This is quite cool. The single target's not the best, but the AoE is terrific. Hold on a second. Hmm. This could be very silly indeed. <laughs> Electricity blast and gas. <laughs> yes, please. That is tremendous. The single target's gonna be even worse because we don't have armor strip, but... That is a lot of AoE. Yeah, we're doing this. 100%. Oh, damn. <laughs> we need to max this out now. I'm feeling better now, by the way. So we format the dash away. Now we format it back in. Wait, wh what do I want to put in here again? <laughs> ah, right. Uh, we need to move this around first. So you go th there, I guess. You go there and bam, primed formination. Might as well put this in too. Let's give it a proper test. <laughs> My thumb. God, that's ridiculous. This is exceedingly silly. I am extraordinarily pleased. The single target is rather mediocre, even against some of the corpus units, but <laughs> the AoE is so dumb. I just like the idea of having three different AoEs stacking on top of one another. You know, we get the blast explosions all the time, then we have the gas clouds everywhere, and then the electricity chaining around. It's just such a neat little build. Even if you don't want to run this full time, I would still recommend you at least try it. Malice, my man, how have you been? Stop touching me! I know I'm irresistible, but sheesh. Eh, it's pretty much what you would expect from like a full-on status setup. It does the job, but uh, mm, eh. <laughs> oh my god, the clouds are so bright in here. <laughs> I love this so much. This is a perfect example of fun over firepower. This is so much fun. I don't really care that the single target is a bit ass. Also, this could combo with so many things. Like, anything that groups enemies up will absolutely skyrocket the effectiveness of this because of the overlapping blast and gas and electricity. So if you have, like, larva or something, this is going to be awesome. I would recommend some armor strip with it, though, because armor kind of stuns this. Not by much, but... If you're gonna fight the Grenier or even the Corruptate and you're going deeper into Steel Path, I would recommend some sort of armor strip. Surprisingly enough, the Ancients, even on the Corrupted side, are somewhat resistant to this. Maybe it's because they just have a ton of health? Maybe that's what it is. Hmm. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's definitely serviceable. I've used worse. God knows I've used worse. I mean, I've killed an Acolyte with the stuck, for God's sakes. <laughs> so this is fine. Like, especially if, when you have a solid pet, like I have Harold here, he helps out a lot. So yeah, this, this is this is fine. By the way, people constantly ask me about Harold's build. It's still the same as it was in the Harold video. So you can, you can just search my channel for Harold and 
there it is. I kind of forgot that I'm making a video and I should probably be talking about the setup, right? This was a very pleasant surprise. At first, I thought I would just do like corrosive blast and radiation with gas on top, just to sort of try a variation of the mech special after the Jade update. But this is way better. Like a deliberately silly build is one thing, but an accidentally silly build, that's, that's, that's the stuff. So here's the final build for the Zakti Prime, and it's pretty silly indeed. We have Galvanized Diffusion for multi-shot, and we don't run a Lethal Torrent because we have Cannon out, so we would lose the fire rate. We followed it up with Prime Formination, which on the Zakti Prime is huge because the explosion has no fall off. So we just get a bigger boom that does maximum damage across the entire radius, which is awesome. Then we have Sure Shot for status chance, though you could run Galvanized Shot if you want to invest into this a little bit more because you will get more damage on direct hit. So this would help out your single target. Then we have Pistol Elementalist, which for a setup like this is amazing because it increases the damage of our blast, electricity and gas, plus it shortens our reload to 0.6 seconds, which feels awesome. Then we have Semi-Pistol Cannonade, which just gives us a ton of base damage and the punch through on the Zakti Prime doesn't work, so it's not gonna mess up your explosions. And to top it all off, we have a bunch of elemental stuff. Primed Convulsion for a ton of electricity, as well as Frostbite and Scorch for blast and status. Now, if you really want to make this feel good, I would highly recommend you invest into maxed out lethal momentum, but if you don't want to invest into it, it's fine, it doesn't make that big of a difference, it just feels a little bit better because the darts are faster. And for the Arcane, we ended up going with Cascadia Empowered because it adds a ton of extra damage on a setup like this that procs a ridiculous amount of status on everything in a massive area all the time. However, it is not the only Arcane you can run here, you have a lot of options, though do bear in mind that you get a bunch of base damage from Semi-Pistol Cannon out, so you don't necessarily need base damage Arcanes like Acolyte Arcanes, right? Merciless, Deadhead, Dexterity, that kind of stuff. But anyway, this setup is an absolute treat. The AoE is ridiculous and the single target can be good, but it depends on enemy density. The more enemies you have tightly clumped together, the better the single target is going to be because of the overlapping blast explosions, overlapping gas clouds, as well as the electricity chaining around in between enemies. The setup works absolutely fine on its own, however, if you really want to see what this is capable of, I would highly recommend you combo it with some kind of a grouping tool, like Larva for example, because that will really make it pop off. So yeah, I would highly recommend you give this a shot. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Then I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.